Happy Sunday, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about intercessions this week. One of the main goals of this lesson is to understand that the great saints don't die. They move from our world to join the heavenly host, which is God. So they're just like angels. They have the freedom to communicate with us and more importantly, to support our weak prayers with their strong ones in heaven. After we die, our body will lose life, but our spirit will go to heaven. So the spirits of the good Christians like the saints go to heaven, but they don't lose touch with us who are still alive. The spirits and us in one church, they are in paradise and we are still on earth waiting for the moment to join them. Because they are good and full of love for us, they try to help us with their prayer to God. But first we have to ask for their help when we pray. So do the saints hear us? Of course they do. Just as if we can hear the voice of a man we don't even know talking to us on a cell phone from a faraway place. It should be very easy for them to hear us when we stand up to pray. Try to imagine prayer as our spiritual cell phone and that it connects you with the saint if you just say his or her name. Our prayers would be much stronger when you say the name of St. Mary or our beloved angel or saint in your spiritual cell phone, which is your prayer. But which is more powerful, if you alone ask your dad for something, or if your mother, brothers, and sisters have helped you by asking your dad with you? Sure, if they have helped you, that means it's much better. The same goes for our Heavenly Father God. If we get all the help of of the saints, we share their love, he will answer our prayer if we are asking for something good. Because St. Mary, the angels and saints are surrounding the throne of God in heaven, they are always praising and praying to him on our behalf. When we ask for their intercession, they immediately take our prayer, add their prayer to it, and offer it to God, just like St. Mary did in the wedding of Cana of Galilee. And if we ask in our prayer for something that is not good for us, they will correct it and ask our God only for what is good and profitable for us. When the priest starts raising incense on the altar with our prayers, we start asking the prayers of the invisible church of saints and angels who are watching us, but we can't see them. We don't pray to them. We pray to God, and at the same time, we ask them to join us in prayer. They join our prayers, and they raise it to God. We humbly and politely ask God to accept our prayers because of their in intercessions and prayers for us. Another reason why saints are also very important is that we can learn from their stories. Many of them had struggled or had gone through something very important or interesting and we can understand from their story how important God was in their lives. God has helped many saints from being bad people to wonderful people who are in heaven who are more loving and caring. He's helped saints who are persecuted for being christian they're so important to our church and they are the best role models we have to continue living a life that will allow us to love god and to allow god to love us more and more so when we pray we should always ask for the intercessions of saint mary the mother of god our angels and all of our other saints And we should listen to the good advice of our guardian angel and follow good examples that these saints will leave for us and have left for us. We should each have our own saint friend in heaven that will help us in our prayer. So the goal for this week for every single person, your homework, is to find a saint that has a story that you really connect with and that you love a saint that you will make your best friend and you will pray with them at night and in the morning and at any time you have a prayer to god so that you have a strong relationship with them and that they can make your prayers even stronger and raise them to heaven and to god